Good morning, St. Mark's United Methodist Church. Today we're celebrating Palm Sunday, the beginning of this most holy week. Let us pray. Almighty God, on this day, your son Jesus Christ entered the holy city of Jerusalem and was proclaimed king by those who spread their garments and palm branches along his way. Let those branches be for us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our Lord and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life. O oh God, this week is such a different Holy Week than the ones we've celebrated in the past. When we are practicing social distancing so that we can cease the spread of the coronavirus, Lord God, we pray that you eradicate this virus from the face of the earth, that you be with those who are struggling to breathe, that you're with those who are helping them in the struggle, all of the health care workers and first responders, responders, the doctors and the nurses. But Lord, be with all of us so that we can do our part too. Help us, Lord, so that the front lines aren't as busy because we're staying home. We're staying home and worshiping you from wherever we are. The church is empty. The building of the church is empty, but the church has been deployed. And for that, O oh God, we give you thanks. In Jesus' holy and mighty name we pray. Amen. for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteousness shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in your eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the home, horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, 
and I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Amen. Our gospel lesson is from Matthew 21, beginning with the first verse. When they had come to Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and her colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did just as Jesus directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that had went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. This is the gospel of our risen Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Thanks be to God. The story in Matthew is one that we're all very familiar with. The story of Jesus in his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. So triumphant that there was a parade, a spontaneous parade. And the people knew there was something different about this Jesus. They knew there was something wonderful about him. They were anxiously awaiting his arrival. Yet they didn't really understand who he was or what his mission was or what he was doing and how he was being obedient to the Father. This story we know. We know about the parade, we know about the palm branches, and we know about singing Hosanna. And all of the people were so happy and so excited and overjoyed. But there were other characters in this story. Please take a listen to this perspective of the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem on that day long ago. Mom, why am I stuck here? Why do I have to be tied to this post? I'm kind of really glad you're with me. I really didn't know what it would be like today. Do you think today's the day? Do you think this is the day that I will actually get to do what I was made for? Mom, why can't you answer me? I don't understand. What are you doing? Who are you looking at? Wait a minute, who are they? I don't know who they are, Mom. I don't know if, I'm afraid. Maybe I'm not ready to go to work yet. Maybe I'm not ready to be put into service. Mom, what do you think? Do you think it's safe? Hey, what are they doing? What are they doing, Mom? Oh my, I've never had anything so wonderful on my back before. And it's purple, Mom! Do you think they're gonna use us for royalty today? Do you think today's the day that I'll finally get to do what I was made to do and carry a burden? I hope so. I hope that's what today is about. Mom, I'm so glad you're with me because that way you can be so proud of me because I'm gonna be so good at this because this is what I was made for. Who's that? Oh, he's getting on my back. Oh, he tells me his name is Jesus, and he just needs a ride. I can do this. You made me big and strong, and I know I can do this job. 
oh wow, and this velvety cloak feels so good on my back. I've never felt anything so wonderful. Mom, I can feel what he's feeling. And he's beautiful and kind, and he loves me. <gasps> Jesus loves me, Mom. And I get to do this most important job. I get to take him into Jerusalem. And all of these people are shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Oh, and he's so happy. He's so happy the people have gathered. I can feel his happiness and his joy. Mom, can you feel it too? I'm so glad we're doing this together. It's so much more fun with you with me. Mom. This is the first burden I've carried. But oh my, this burden is so light. He's not heavy at all. Mom, it's because he's the light of the world. That's why he's not heavy for me. He's giving me grace and love that is so pure. This is the best parade ever. The children are running around and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And Jesus is so happy. He's accepting their love. Oh no. There's more. I don't, I don't want to take him any further. I don't want to go where he has to go. He let me know, Mom, that where he's going, he's going to hurt. I can feel his pain as I'm carrying him. I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it anymore. Jesus, it's okay. I can turn around and we can run away. You don't have to go there. That's what I want to tell him. But, Mom, he's telling me he has to go. I have to carry him to that place, that place that place where he, he'll give himself up for all, for all the sins of the world. He's gonna suffer and he's gonna die. Jesus, I'm so sorry I have to take you there. Mom, this is the hardest job I've ever had, and it's the only job I'll ever do. I don't think I can go on after this. But wait, he's telling me it's okay. It is for this purpose that I was made. So he wouldn't have to walk. So that he could be in the parade so that the world would know that he is king of kings and lord of lords and he is going willingly to the cross for all who God created including me including you thanks be